Welcome friends in second episode of derivative in previous video we learned uh, the definition of the derivative what is exactly derivative we understand and finally what we understand that derivative is nothing more than the slope of a curve at a particular point right if you find out the uh, here suppose it's a point and here if you want to find the slope of the curve then that will be the uh, the derivative of the uh, this this function right or if you find the uh, if you want to find the slope at a particular point then at particular point the line will be the tangent and the slope of this tangent will be itself the derivative or in another way what we learned that derivative is uh, the just the rate of change of the function at a particular point right at at any point suppose at this point how the derivative is changing that means how the function is changing that is exactly the derivative right so we learned a little bit in uh, uh, concepts there now finally what we got there uh, that derivative uh, is exactly the slope right of the curve at the particular point and which is equals to limit h tends to 0 where h is a small change right mm, f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h right finally we get this and uh, you know sometime we should uh, we used to represent this derivative just like this also f prime x right f prime x represents the derivative of the function fx right and sometime also we, we we see like this dy by dx right derivative of y that's uh, fx right derivative of function fx that's d dy by dx we also represent like this so by any way we represent don't confuse but in some of the books you may see something different over here in this formula you may have seen uh, let me tell you uh, like delta x tends to zero right delta x tends to zero so h and delta x both are the same thing that uh, just a little bit far away from this point right from where we are going to find the derivative so don't be confused these all are the same thing right now in this video uh, to to understand more the derivative concept i'm taking a function right uh, let me take y equals to uh, fx it's the same thing right uh, x square plus 3x plus 2 I'm going to uh, uh, deal a little bit uh, derivative concepts in this uh, in this curve, right? So first, let me make the uh, figure of this, right? Suppose this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis, right? And the function of uh, means the graph of this function will be something like this, right? Uh, one, two, okay, fine. It will be something like this, right? So again uh, we need to find out the derivative at a particular point or derivative as we learned in previous video that's just a slope at a particular point right so if you find the slope of this curve at this particular point means the slope of the tangent right then that will be the derivative right but uh, to understand in generalization uh, let me take two points again uh, so first point is this is my first point and suppose it is making uh, x coordinate uh, its x distance away from the origin right so the corresponding y coordinate will be f of x as we have learned in the previous video that is the same value right that's the same value of y that's the y coordinate right now uh, let me check another point a little bit further away from here uh, a little bit only a little bit you can say at the delta x uh, it's not walking yeah uh, about here right about here I'm taking suppose this is delta x far away or you can also choose as a h right so h or delta x both mean the same thing that is small distance away from here right and it's corresponding y coordinate so how much distance it is yeah exactly this whole distance from the origin up to this part right up to this part I'm talking this x coordinate will be now x plus delta x or you can say x plus h whatever you suppose uh, I'm taking x plus h right it will be more uh, better as we are ta uh, taking for since previous video so we'll be taking as a x right sorry h so its corresponding value in the y coordinate will be y axis will be f of x plus h right that's exactly the uh, uh, you can say that the y coordinate right I'm just uh, uh, supposing it's y2 okay fine so we got the y coordinate and the x coordinate of uh, this function right so now what we have to do let's produce a secant between these two line right so our secant line will be the line joining these two points right so it is something like this right 
secant line so uh, now we need to find out the slope of this secant line or how the this function is this function f of x right is changing from this two point let me give the name of this point suppose this is p point and this is q point so how this function is changing between this p to q point that will be given by the slope this slope of the secant line right and what we have learned the slope of the secant line is just again the same thing that slope is equals to change in y that is y2 minus y1 divided by change in x x2 minus x1 right here y2 is f of x plus h right f of x plus h and here y1 this uh, this y1 will be f of x right this will work as a y2 and this this will work as a x2 right this this whole distance will work as x2 and this this much distance will only work as a x1 and this distance will work as a y1 so here x2 uh, sorry y1 now y1 is the f of x right f of x whole divided by x2 that is x plus h minus x now what you can do we can simply cut this x and x bar and you will be left with the uh, f of x plus h right and if you insert the f of x plus h here right x plus h in this function exactly uh, this is a function this this graph uh, what you're seeing uh, you are seeing this 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 curve is actually the function or you can say a machine in which if you put whatever suppose if you put x then you will get such results right and if you put here suppose a banana then it will give you the banana square plus three times the banana plus two right whatever you will insert suppose you're you're pushing a apple over here then you'll get the apple square plus three times the apple plus two so now i'm pushing this x plus h right i'm just inserting i'm plugging this x plus h in this function so i will get the uh, y coordinate like uh yeah i'm writing right so x square that is x plus h whole square x plus h whole square plus three times x plus h right three times x plus h plus this two right minus now f of x now simply if we plug the value of x then we'll be getting this right so what we'll get let me write here it will be uh and friend i want to remind you don't forget to take the bracket over here right you have to take the bracket most of the students makes mistake here they don't take bracket and they they makes the sign mistake so don't make the uh, mistake such so we'll be taking over here bracket and we'll get if you just put the value of x then we'll be getting x square plus 3x plus 2 so x square plus 3x plus 2 right and now whole divided by we are left with the h right so now what to do let let me expand this x plus h whole square right it's looking something like this now friends see this is a and plus this is b and this is whole square right a plus b whole square and we know the formula of a plus b whole square that we have learned in our algebra chapter that is equals to a square plus 2 times a times b right plus b square so i'm just using this formula over here to expand this so i'll be getting x square plus 2xh plus h square again this 3 will multiply 3x and 3h it will be so 3x plus 3h plus 2 and then minus right now see minus times x square that is minus x square minus time plus 3x so it will be minus 3x and minus time plus 2x it will be minus 2 right and then whole divided by h so now let's observe here something what is uh, cutting see this is my plus x square will cut the uh, cut with the minus x square right and another my minus 3x will cancel with my plus 3x and my plus 2 will cancel with minus 2 so I will be now left with 2xh plus h square plus 3h whole divided by h and what I'm looking here I am getting something same thing that's 2xh here x and here also h and here is also h in in all these three terms here is also h h and h so I can take that common so I will be get I will be left with 3x plus h sorry 2x plus h plus 3 whole divided by h and now I'm able to cut this and this I can cancel out and finally I'll be left with 2x plus h plus 3 right so what we get the slope we get the slope of the secant line right of this secant line it is equals to 2x plus h plus 3 and this is the slope of this whole line right but uh, as the derivative of definition says that is the slope of uh, the curve of the line at particular point at exactly s some sharp point at this sharp point and when we'll get this at, at here 
it will we will be getting the slope only when we will decrease this secant line means this we will will pulls down this secant line and it this this point will this q point will be very come closer 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 to this p point when this q point will come closer to this p point almost very close very close not exactly at the p point but the very close infinitely very close to this p point then we will be exactly getting the slope of the this curve at particular point i mean to say it it's something like this you, you may see this in this figure see here in this video yeah this is p point and this is q point when this q point will almost come very close to this p point then we'll be getting the, exactly the slope of the curve at a, almost very 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 close to this p point right so see how this is coming closer and closer means this at distance is becoming short and short and short and short and very short right exactly i, 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 I was trying to solve you this right so uh, i hope you understand this here right you 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 understand this here how we used to do this now fine so it's coming very closer so it will when this this delta x or h distance will be very short right when delta h will be very short almost very close to this zero then we'll be getting the derivative at a particular point so for this we know we have to take the introduction of the limit we, we have to introduce the limit and we have to take limit as delta x tends to zero or h tends to zero right so the slope of this slope of at that time the slope will not be of the secant line that at that point the slope will be of the tangent right the slope of the tangent will be exactly at that time so slope when limit by taking limit h tends to zero 2x plus h plus 3 will be now equals to h tends to zero so it will be 2x plus 3 so at any point at, at this point now exactly I'm talking at this point the derivative of the function is 2x plus 3 or you can say uh, h plus 3 no, sorry uh, uh, 2x plus 3 right so derivative or you can say the slope of this curve is exactly uh, 2x plus 3 or you can say this 2x plus 3 is how the derivative is changing how this function is changing uh, at the particular point exactly it is like like this <laughs> so now you can represent this 2x plus 3 as a f prime x also or you can also represent by dy by dx also whatever you want you can do it uh, friend let me tell you one one thing here uh, most of the strengths also confuse here so le le let me tell you let me clear uh, want to uh, clear this here f of x and f prime x right f of x is not equals to the f prime of x f of x if you just insert the value of x you will get the y coordinate here you will get the y coordinate corresponding y coordinate you will get if you just insert the value over here and if you insert if you insert the value of uh, uh, in, in this function f of f prime x then you will get the derivative at that point means how the curve is changing means how this uh, this 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 y part is changing with the x part you will get the rate at that particular point means it will tell you it will tell you the derivative means the slope of the function at particular time while this will give you the coordinate y coordinate of the function at that time right so i hope you understand this and in next video we'll be doing a little bit more concept right from the first principle we'll be deriving the uh, derivative exactly and how we used to do so please uh, uh, follow the second video right i mean keep the uh, track the second video uh, you uh, another video you you'll understand all the concepts right gradually one by one so we'll be doing the next video bye, -bye.